Yo, how you doing, Gary? What's going on, Mr. Brambert? Welcome back to another episode of Brambert's podcast number three. Three, yeah. We're stepping it up. One. We're a little bit late, though. We're coming up, though. <clears throat> We're coming up, but we are late to the party because we uh, actually forgot. No, we didn't forget. No, we didn't forget. There was just some difficulties that we were having. so uh, Absolutely. We didn't get to record um, over the weekend, but we are here now. Today is Wednesday. Damn, we're really late, <laughs> but it's okay. It's what, two days? Well, <clears throat> we already missed one podcast. Well, technically, today is Thursday. Yeah, wait. Well, yeah, you're right, so... Already three days, four days in. Shit. Holy shit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're here now. That's what's nah. happening. Right? We're still delivering. We're still, yes. I'm better late than ever, right? right? That's what Pizza Hut told me, but then I was like, no, give me my, <laughs> <laughs> give me my money back. I, this pizza's cold. <laughs> so hopefully our listeners don't want their money back that they spent <laughs> on this podcast. Because <laughs> our podcast is cold now, and they're going to be like, yo. Get... Anyway. Refund? Customer yeah. service? Customer service. We don't have that. <clears throat> we only have we only deal with us, and we don't deal with customers. So this is a two man group. <laughs> yeah, we're not blue though. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> continuing on. Uh, what's new in your life, Mister uh, Legend Gary? Uh, not too much. You know, the same old, same old. Playing games as always. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. In, in that tra- Street Fighter training. Oh, is that is that how's that coming along? Is that real training or are you just saying it? Real training, actually, you know, but it's rusty, still oh, rusty. Okay, that's but good. Evil's I, coming up. Yeah, I uh, I did some training. I've been doing some training too, but not too heavily. Just uh, just some little basic stuff of, uh, versus certain characters. But you know what? I have an idea. What? I think for this uh, episode, we're gonna go ahead and skip all the Street Fighter talk. Yeah, because I think our listeners do not want to listen to us talk about Street Fighter all the time. We don't want to put them to sleep. Exactly. I mean, we could talk about it in private all we want. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to uh, make them resident or sleeper. Yeah, exactly. So, other than uh, playing games, is there anything new you've got? Have you gotten anything like new recently? Um, no, I have not. That not that I can think off the top of my head right now. No. Okay. How about yourself? Well, I, I, know, I know you came up on something pretty uh, godlike. It's funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a coincidence that you're talking about this. <laughs> Let's talk about it in more details. <laughs> so recently, <clears throat> you know I am a avid Craigslist searcher. You know I, I like scavenger. to scavenger. A scavenger, you could call me. You could call. Uh, scavengers, I don't know if scavenger is a good word. Maybe we could say uh, treasure hunter. How about that? Uh, that sounds good. Okay. So I <clears throat> I am a, I am a uh, Craigslist treasure hunter. I like to lurk in the uh, Craigslist posts. And um, I look at the video game stuff. And, you know, eventually. I mean, not eventually. But sometimes I'll, I'll take a dive <laughs> into the uh, electronic <laughs> pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm, you're not the only one though. I do that too. Yeah, but usually I stick to the video game section, um, try to find good deals, and I mean, also I, you know, I I always go on the on the photography stuff. But anyway, but most of the most important is the gaming stuff. And uh, just uh, the other day, I found I came up uh, I came across a good deal, right? So it wasn't a good deal. It was a godlike deal. Okay, well. Let me explain the story to all of those who are interested. If not, you can go ahead and skip to the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, timestamps will be at the bottom of the video. Anyway. Description area. Yeah, description. But, um, so I go on, this is a typical day, right? I go, um, you know, I'm, I'm browsing Craigslist. And then um, I stumble across this this uh, this post. And it said, this was for a brand new, sealed, unopened Mario Tetris? What is it? No. Dr. Mario slash Dr. Mario. Tetris yeah. combo. And they wanted uh, what, 25 bucks for it. So I was like, hmm, that's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's brand new and sealed. You know, the box didn't look too beat up. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was considering it, right? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't something that... That made me go like, oh my god, I have to have this, right? But... 
but then as I kept looking uh, maybe a few posts next to that ah yes what do I see what do I see <laughs> I see a post for a killer instinct two brand new sealed never been opened in the box uh, for Super Nintendo for thirty dollars I was like is this is this real life yeah is this real life someone pinch me yeah but so that, that sounds so good so then I uh, I shared it with you yes and then uh, you were a little bit doubtful in the beginning you know it was I mean it's understandable because there's a lot of people that try to take advantage of other people but upon closer inspection of the pictures we determined that they were real by real we mean real um factory sealed fact not resealed yeah not resealed yes exactly but I'll, I'll tell you what when i when i did when i did pick them up i um i actually like felt around in there just to see if you know kind of like give them a little squeeze mm-hmm. because just to see if they were i mean you never know you know they could probably be filled with something that's just gonna uh just put in some weight yeah um but uh but I mean, by just squeezing them, you could feel that there's carts in there. You could feel the the cart. Yeah. Well, I would imagine the Killer Instinct one be a little bit thick. Mm, I don't know. Well, I thought it'd be a little heavier because it. I mean, you can't really compare the difference because it has a CD inside. You know. Yeah. But they both. I mean, they both feel almost identical as far as weight goes. So I don't know. But <clears throat> that's that. But anyway, the point is that it was thirty dollars. Which I thought it was a great, 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 great deal. I pretty much told uh, Mr. Brambert, if he didn't get him, I'll disfriend him. And of course, by hearing that, I was like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're going to disfriend me? Then let me go buy it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, didn't ma- it didn't matter what it was. The friendship was just too strong. <laughs> it could have been <laughs> It could have been a Mario Duck Hunt, you know, for, uh-huh. for $30. Just cart only with the fucked up with the fucked up label. No, with nothing. It could have been Shaq Fu cart only. And I would, and then if you would have said, "I'll just friend you if you don't buy it," I would have just bought it anyways. But so, this is what happens. I call the guy, right? And then mm-hmm. he says, uh, "Oh, hello." And I was like, "Hey, <laughs> I'm just calling." Like that. Yeah, hello. And I was like, "Yeah, well, you know, blah blah." I'm calling about your post, blah blah. And then he was like, uh, well, um, yeah, well, I did want $30 for it, but uh, a few people have been calling me, and uh, they were offering more money, so I'm going to wait and see how much I can get. <laughs> and I was Good like, impression. And I was like, man, this guy. I was like, fuck. And I got mad because I was thinking, if I would have just saw this post when he posted it, like right away, because, you know, I always just refresh all the time. I could have mm-hmm. got it. And he and for the, asking for the price. yeah for the asking price and he lives so close to me, or you know to where I was so. Um, so anyway that was you know but then we worked out a deal. Turns out, I offered him fifty bucks. Well actually I offered him forty five and he said no for the ki only for the right ki only yeah and he said no, but he was willing to take fifty. So now I was thinking okay fifty bucks is I mean that's kind of a lot of money for an old game right, but, mm-hmm. I mean it's a killer instinct it's a known game. It's brand new, and it's never been opened. So I thought at the end I was like, you know, even though it's fifty bucks, I still I still think it's a great deal. Not, yeah, because that game alone, just I mean, for completing box with the killer uh, killer cuts, the open like used, it's around that price. Yeah. So so that was good. <clears throat> um, I did see. I think I had linked you even. I did see some other auctions for like. Uh, for, you know, in the box, but but these were like super mint, and they're like 150 or something. But these, you know, the one I got wasn't that clean. I mean, the box is still good, but it's not perfect, perfect. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I make the deal. Uh, this guy shows up, <clears throat> and right before I buy it, I mean, I didn't mention anything about the other game. But here's a secret. Here's a secret. The on the first post when he had the the original the Mario Doctor Mario and 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 the uh, Tetris combo. He, is that is that outside my door or your door? Do you hear those dogs? It's your door. Because I don't have dogs around here. Oh, do you hear the dogs though? No. Oh, then it's just me. Okay, good. Um, so... What was I saying? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, 
So yeah, the, the first post that he had, um, he had his contact info as just like just to get emailed. So I actually emailed him. Oh, uh, and that's the first one you saw. You're like, oh, let me just yeah, you know, up on this real quick. Exactly. So I emailed him and then I was just waiting for a reply. But then right away I saw the second one and I was like, but on the second one, which is a killer instinct, he actually had a phone number, which he didn't uh, have in the first one. So when he showed up, he was like, um, you know, we we made a deal for 50 bucks. So then he comes out with two games, which is, and he brought out the, the Tetris and Mario combo. And then he was, and then he tells me, do you want to just get this game for another 10 bucks? <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> God takes it. So I was like, uh, yeah, sure. You know, 10 bucks. All right. So it turns out his original asking price for both games was 55 bucks, right? I paid 60 and I got both games, but here's my dilemma. Now, I don't, okay. I don't know if I should, when I think about my purchase, okay, mm-hmm. I don't know if I should tell myself, hey, I got Killer Instinct brand new sealed for 30 bucks, and I also got Mario Tetris for 30 bucks, or, you know, I'm splitting the cost between each one, or do I have to think about it, <laughs> how it actually happened, which is I paid $50 for one and 10 for the other. Just use it as a combo, pretty much. 30 each yeah that's how i want to that's how i'm trying to tell myself just to make me feel better <laughs> about this. well yeah if you put it in that context you're like damn i got got this fresh ki for 30 bucks and the re- the only reason i say that is because i mean it's it's justified because he actually was asking 30 for it and they were you know in the beginning so i could actually say like hey you know what 30 bucks yeah because that's how much you want it yeah so that's what I bought um, recently, and 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 it's funny how everything worked out because not too long ago, um, I see on the weekends I like to go to you know, out here where we live, with them, they're called swap meets, but I know some places have other names for them. They have what are they called? Um, flea markets. Flea markets, exactly. That's one name. Uh, swap meets. Uh, that's probably it. And then you know I, I like to drive around and, and try to find yard sales. Uh, if I see a yard sale. And uh, and I see stuff that looks like it. there's uh, you know TVs or, or computers or, or any or any electronic stuff. There's usually gonna be some games or yeah or something that you could you know find yeah, um, really cheap. Yeah, and and a few times I've actually found pretty good stuff. I found a lot of good controllers, uh, original Xbox controllers, like really really nice ones for cheap. I see, you're, that's fortunate for you out here. Is, um, not very many yard sales. It rains so much. Mm-hmm. So yard sales aren't very hard to come by, but uh, I go, I, I make occasional stops to Goodwill to see if I can find anything. Yeah, and <clears throat> Goodwill, <clears throat> Goodwill is another good place for me to find. I found a lot of, um, maybe this is a sensitive subject for 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 some reasons, but for the listeners listeners that don't know, one, uh, one time I found a lot of like pretty much brand new PS2 controllers. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> let's not go there. But let me just tell the story for. For the, for the sake of the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> but I actually found some like, I mean, perfect condition. Uh, <laughs> I mean, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> we get it. Mint, Mint, just, just untouched virgin controllers, right? Please um, explain why this topic. Oh, is very uh, sensitive. I'll get there. But um, and and these were the see-through ones. I got a smoke-colored one. I got the teal and the blue. Oh man, the blue so nice. The teal's so nice. The smoke's so nice. Ooh. Yeah. So, um, I only paid six bucks each, each controller. So I thought that was a steal. And, uh, and that was at Goodwill. And, um, and lately they actually built a new Goodwill, another Goodwill that's much bigger. And ever since that Goodwill came out, um, the other Goodwill doesn't have anything anymore. And, uh, the new Goodwill sometimes has stuff, but I haven't found anything valuable there. They have a lot of junk. I haven't seen anything gaming. I think the only thing I ever saw over there was like a, a really beat up uh, PlayStation One, not even the not not a PS One, but the just the original PlayStation One. Mhm. So, because you know PS One's a little one. Yeah. Yeah, but that's about it. And and uh, anyway, but back to my other story. I'm. Oh man, I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to mimic a YouTuber that I shouldn't mimic. <laughs> That likes to ramble about stuff. But anyway, <laughs> I am so glad I didn't do that. But here's the thing. Um, not too long ago, I went to a flea market, a.k.a. swap me for us. And uh, I was walking around 
and there's this lady that was selling a uh, she was selling a uh, limited edition uh, Assassin's Creed um, figure. You know the uh, it was a, it was collector's edition. Yeah, collector's edition. Um, it was like a, a figure, like a statue. Yeah, I know. Like, what you mean like an eight or nine inch or something. It was pretty big. It was it was actually pretty cool. And I asked her. I I, I don't know if what game, I think it's Assassin. I don't know if it's for the newest Assassin's Creed or the one before it. But I think it was Assassin's Creed three. Yeah. That came with that statue. Pistachio. <laughs> Pistachio. Pistachio. Pistachios. Anyway, um, so I asked her the price, and she was like, "Oh, it's eighty dollars." I was like, "Fuck, eighty bucks?" And she's like, "Well, they were one twenty. I'm like, "But yeah, this is old ass game, you know." I was like, I'm "Just them <laughs> shit in the statue," and then she's like, "Yeah, well, it's eighty bucks because it's not complete, blah blah blah." So I was like, uh, "You know, I'm not gonna pay." First of all, I don't even like that game, but I mean, the statue looked really nice. That I'll give them that. The statue did look pretty dope. Yeah, um, but. You know, I don't like the game at all, so I wasn't interested. I was not gonna spend. I wouldn't even spend f- like fifty or forty bucks. I would have probably spent like twenty bucks on it, if if she, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> so once I say no, I keep looking around and I look up, and what do I see? I see a Xbox One Connect 2.0 just sitting there by itself. And I was like, what the hell? So I'm like, hey, are you selling this? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, well, how much do you want for this? You know, I'm expecting fifty bucks or something, forty bucks. She's like, um, 15 bucks. I was like, what? <laughs> Sold. I was like, you know, I didn't want to, I swear, I, I tried my hardest not to make the, are you fucking kidding me face? You know, like, I'll <laughs> take, you know, I don't want to show excitement because then she would have been like, well, wait a minute, you know, because that's happened before. If you yeah. show excitement, they'll be like, wait, why the fuck is he so excited? And they, they try to change it up right away. They're not stupid. They're like, uh, hold on real quick. So I was like, oh, 15. I think I even tried to haggle down to 10. And she was like, no, <laughs> you know, I don't want to show importance in the item, but, but I bought it. And then I was like, oh, these guys are fucking idiots. But then I was like, oh shit, maybe I'm the idiot. Probably doesn't even work. <laughs> Did you try it? So then I, yeah, it, it took me like two weeks to test it because <laughs> I just had it in my car. And then I brought it in, uh, I brought it inside my house and I just had it there. I really, you know, didn't really matter, but I tested it and then I put it on Craigslist. And the whole reason I'm saying this stupid story is because <laughs> I won't get into off track. You went way off track. We no, talking about PS2 controllers. No, 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 no. It's gonna make a full circle right now. Okay. Um. So uh, I put it for sale, and I put it for seventy bucks. Like, Let's see if we guess if we get any nibbles. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> people were nibbling, but this guy really wanted it. So it turns out, you know, I, I went and I sold it to him, and he told me he's like, "Oh, I'll give you sixty bucks and and a game." I was like, "Okay, cool." Turns out he gave me like four or five games or something. I mean, they're pretty shitty games, but uh, he did give me Skate, which is a game that I really like. Um, but before we go on to that, um, and he gave me 60 bucks. So the whole point of my whole story is that pretty much those $60, I, I used them for the Killer Instinct and Mario combo. Oh, so technically you got them for... $15. Yeah. So seven fifty each. <laughs> Put it in that context. If, yeah. uh, if we put it in that context. So that's good. That's yeah, that's pretty good. That's very good. That's absolutely great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what's killing me? That I want to open them. <laughs> that's the bad part. That's why once you get them in that protective case, the clear plastic case, you know, put them on a shelf somewhere. What's the point of having them in the shelf? I should just open it. I mean, then here's the thing. Then you here's you'll just die. No, no, no. Someone's gonna... Here's the problem, though. Like, I understand the whole idea, right? If you're collecting, and it's okay, it's an old ass game, so it's nice to have it new. But, but I know but, the but. Here comes the but. The but about all this is that, although it is new, sealed, it's not like immaculate condition. You know what I mean? So I think open uh, unwrapping it wouldn't. I don't know if it would really hurt the value that much. You know, maybe, but <laughs> I mean, I guess no. You know what? It probably would. Maybe yeah. before, the, maybe because of the fact that it's not in the. I mean, it's not like mint the box. So I think if I would unwrap it, it would be like lose a lot of value. Yeah, it would. Because then it's oh, you know, it, it could just be it becomes like oh, it's just complete in box. Pretty much, just instead of new and sealed with minor wear and tear. Yeah. Okay. 
But let's see the other game I could easily open. The other one's a player choice. It's a they probably sold like eight hundred million of them. That doesn't matter. <laughs> then I, open it. I could open that see, one. Do an unboxing, put it on YouTube. See if I get hate. So you will get hate. You think so? No, I don't think so. I I do. We could make a bet. No, no bets. <laughs> why not? Why don't you like the bet? Especially against you, it always goes sour. I lose. Well, it's a 50-50. We don't know what the internet's going to do. The internet's very predictable when it comes to... Uh, oh, exactly. So if it's very predictable, then you should have the upper hand. You say they're going to You say they're gonna rage. And I'm saying maybe not. But there's chances. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, talking about collecting, let's talk about something else that, <clears throat> that I like to collect. That... I like to collect that I recently started in getting into. Before we go to there, okay. we uh, went off topics with the PlayStation 2 controllers. Oh, did we? I, um, yes, you went way far off topic. Because, I, I mean, I just thought we weren't supposed to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we were supposed I to, thought you wanted to skip that part. I did, but you, you wanted we wanted <laughs> to inform them why it's a sensitive topic. I don't think the, I don't think the listeners are very much <laughs> interested in that. Whoa. To be honest, I don't think they care. Okay. Maybe we could do it on the next on the next uh, podcast. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, to be continued. Stay tuned. If you guys want to hear what uh, what <laughs> what happened with these controllers, please comment, <laughs> and then we'll, we'll talk about it. If there's no, all right, we'll do this. If there's no comment about it, that means nobody listened to this shit and nobody cares. I mean, no one listened to the other one. Hey, we, we had a few people listen to it. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was me and you. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> let's say if we have 30 listen, 30 views, half of those are mine, half are probably yours. Well, no, let's say 10 and 10 are yours and mine, and then, uh, so we got probably 10 views. <laughs> yeah, approximately. So, I mean, out of those 10 people, maybe, you know, six are bots, so we probably got four listeners. Right. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, out of the four listeners, if you guys want to hear the story, please comment and we will talk about it. But... Let's, you know, let's try to create some uh, some cliffhangers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not much of a cliffhanger, but anyway. Uh, next topic. So, uh, the specific item you like to collect. Yeah, so recently. And by recently, I will say two years Last ago. Last week. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I started a while back. Um, ever since I got my first 3DS, I don't know why. I, Your first one was a black one, right? Yeah, the original black. I wanted the blue one that you have, or green, teal, whatever the fucking color. It's teal. It is. Yeah, I wanted it's that color. one. I, and, you know, and I really, I still want it. But at the time, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get the black. <clears throat> so I got the black. But for some strange reason, this is the only like system, I guess. I mean, it is a system, right? It's a portable system. It's a portable system. So this is the only system I've ever collected. You know, I, I I do have a lot of systems and stuff, but pretty expensive too. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Yeah, but this is the fr- I I can't wrap my head around why. I like, I, like, I, I, I could get into details why. You you think you know why I like it so much? Yeah. All right, I want to hear this. For one, the functionality in the games for the, the system. Okay, I mean, yeah, it has great games now. Or two, there's so many different colors, and now since there's so many limited editions, you're trying to collect them all like Pokemon. Mm, but, hmm, I don't know what it is. I, I mean, the, the system itself is an amazing system. Yeah, it is. But, okay. Maybe, here's my, maybe my original reason, which is going to sound fucking stupid, okay? But... <laughs> I don't even know if I should say this. It's just say it. we're listening. You already got us. All right, all right. I got you hooked. All right. Yes. All right. Here it goes. I think <clears throat> the original reason, this is before the limited editions, by the way. Before the XLs, yes. Well, I mean, they did have limited edition, the regular ones, but. Not very many of them. That Zelda. They had uh, Zelda. And they had Zelda. The Zelda one, I thought those were um, all normal DSs. Yeah, the normal 3DSs. Oh, DS's, not 3DS. No, 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 no. We're talking about the original 3DS right now. Yeah, no. 
But okay. I don't think there was original 3DS that was Zelda themed. Yeah, there was. With the black, yeah. black and gold. Yeah, of course. I wanted it, oh. but I didn't buy it, and I regret it because now they're very expensive. <laughs> they're like five. They're like five hundred bucks if you want a, a new one. Like in the Zelda, Zelda items hold value. It's it's for the Zelda the uh, Ocarina of Time version. When when they released Ocarina of Time, they oh, released. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> and they had some other ones too. But anyway, I think my original reason is that. <laughs> Here comes is that they look like they look like fucking candy. <laughs> See, I know I shouldn't have said this. They look like fucking candy, and I and I fucking love candy. It's like, they look like what kind of candy does it look like? What the fuck? It looks like them. You know? Okay. Did you ever did you ever eat the like? I think there was Starburst hard candy. Starburst hard candy. Yeah. Yeah. They're like. Uh-oh. The only kind of candy I could think like that is now layers. They look glo- no. See, now layers have this nasty ass crevices and and all this crap because of the wrappers. Yeah. The now the the uh, the Starburst hard candy, on the other hand, <laughs> they were smooth <laughs> and <laughs> smooth and glossy and colorful, <laughs> and you want to eat them because they're fucking delicious, right? So, <laughs> so when you see that, it reminds you of 3ds. Well, the opposite, because Starburst came first. So when I saw the 3DS's colors, they reminded me of candy. So I'm like, oh, I want to eat these motherfuckers. So they look so fucking delicious. So but th- that means that, that had to happen a little bit after the 3DS came out then, because it was only, what, three colors when it came yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Um, It was after. I mean, in the, the whole, I think the whole first year, I didn't even touch it, because there were no games for it. So I kind of hated it at one point. <clears throat> Did you get it at launch? I got it the day of... Yes, uh, I got it at launch. So yeah, oh. I got mine pretty late. No, I got mine when right when like the day of the day it came out, and I had pre-ordered it. Ah. Uh. Um. So um, but I think that was the original. I mean, I mean that's not like a like a real real reason, to be honest. But I mean, I just to, like the real real truth is that they I really like the way <clears throat> the colors blend and stuff on the original DS, 3DSs. <laughs> Well, let's, let's, let's fall back real quick. Because I noticed, I remember when we went to school together, the 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 love for the console DS in general started way back when, when the DS Lite came out. Because I remember you had a DS Lite and you oh, played the shit out of it. Yeah, I had, I had a lot of DS Lights. And then you came out, then you had the DSi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I don't know if you had the XL, no, the DSi uh, XL. I actually skipped on the uh, DSi XL. Because my, yeah. my DSi was... I mean, it was more than enough at the time. I didn't think the XL was worth it. Huh. And, and and another thing you gotta remember is that... <clears throat> in those days, I was beyond broke. So even if I wanted it, I couldn't afford it. Yeah. So I just had, so I remember, I had no I remember it was in uh, school and you'd be playing uh, all these hacked games <laughs> using the R4 card. No, 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 no. I bought every game I had. And they were all legit. Okay. For the DSi. Yes, they were all legit. Okay. Every single one of them. Yeah, that's pretty legit. You may maybe one time I I pretended I had R4 card, but it was they were all real games. You're right. And there was a one there was a time when I just played uh, Mortal Kombat Ultimate Mortal Kombat from like nonstop. Oh yeah. I remember you playing Ultimate Mortal Kombat all the time. Yeah. I remember you challenged me before. <laughs> yeah, and I beat your ass. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. With yeah. smoke. But anyway, um. So I, I really like the system, and I started collecting them. <clears throat> um, my favorite one to this, even though I have a few limited editions, my favorite one's still the purple original I purple. I know it's so. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it in person. It is. It's it's cool. Have you seen it's it cute. in person though? Yeah, it's it, one thing I like about the color DS, the 3DS is like mine. Like you can see like little sparkles in it. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. So, um, but now, now that they have the XLs. There's like, um, like every month there's like a new version. Seriously, oh my god, it's like ridiculous. So what? What the hell? What? What do you think is going on over at Nintendo that they're like, let's make so many fucking limited editions for people like you? No, collectors. I mean, a lot of people are buying them. Oh. Like I, I'm on Instagram because I on Instagram I follow a lot of collectors too, and then they're buying a lot of the new ones. I'm like, oh my god. But why? Like, okay. One specific one that's like extremely hard to find right now too is the Pikachu one. Yeah, that one's really hard. 
Mm-hmm. I remember when that came out, everyone was like, like pictures, pictures were posting up on Instagram, like fucking everywhere. But and then you go to Target and they're all gone. Yeah, but if you think, okay, if if Nintendo's trying to, I mean, you're saying that they're releasing for collectors. I don't think that's the reason because I mean, I don't well, I don't think it's 100 percent the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just think, I mean, so often it kind of. I'm afraid that they're losing their value as limited editions because there's so many coming out so recent or so That's often. Just, I mean, well, I mean, it, it's limited edition for that design, I guess you could say. But sometimes I don't even think it's limited. I think they just throw that stamp on because it has a different color pattern or something or yeah. a theme. Mm-hmm. I think the maybe the the more the closest one right now that's i guess you could say getting like you know a real limited edition is the one i just bought which is the the mickey one or the, the mickey one yeah because it was exclusive to a store yeah see like that's exclusive to walmart and to nintendo world or some crap yeah so i think that one's going to be a lot more limited that um, one um there's a few other ones well the the pikachu one was pikachu a store exclusive too i don't remember i do not know if it was store exclusive but i remember seeing it a lot of people buying it from Target. Oh, maybe it was a Target deal then. <clears throat> but. And then the Animal Crossing wasn't that GameStop <sighs> exclusive? I, I, God, I don't want to talk about that. Because <laughs> you canceled your pre-order. <laughs> yeah. To go to Vegas. Oh yeah. <sighs> anyway, but um, I did get the Pokemon. I picked up the Pokemon, the blue one, the Pokemon the blue X. Blue one, yeah. And didn't you get the red one also? No, no, I just got the blue. <clears throat> um, the blue, and it's and it's funny because they're all matte. You know, they're all matte finishes, and I guess I guess the Pokemon is actually a glossy finish. Oh really? Yeah, that's the first one that I know of that it's actually glossy, and it looks really cool. But mine's sealed, unopened. <laughs> I, I I want a new uh, 3ds. I, that the Yoshi one. Ah, looks so I want the Yoshi one too. And and guess what? <clears throat> I had pre-ordered since I figured the uh, Mickey Mouse one was gonna be kind of rare. I pre-ordered it, at, you know, Walmart. And they're taking for. I still don't have it, right? So I called the I called the store the other day, cause I saw I saw them at Walmart. So I was like, I'm just gonna cancel my order, buy it at buy it at the store, and blah blah blah. So I called Walmart. I I, I went outside of Walmart <laughs> to call Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so I called. <clears throat> And I told them, you know, what was going on. And they're like, okay, well, they, they processed my cancellation. And they're like, okay. They're like, all right, well, you know, you're done. So you should get our email shortly telling you whether it was successful or unsuccessful. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, well, if it doesn't go through, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could still return it. She's like, yeah, of course. But You still haven't even got any confirmation yeah, or received right? it? Well, here's what happened. So I, I went to Walmart after that phone call. I went and I bought, I bought the Mickey edition. So I took it home and I noticed that this is the first one I've ever seen that doesn't have the seals on the side, the plastic seals. Oh yeah. On the flaps. Usually they have a, Tape. One, they have one on each side or I think one ha- one side actually has two of them and one has one. That's how all my other boxes. I have the I also have the limited edition Zelda, the Link Between Worlds 3DS, which I want to open <laughs> so fucking bad. <laughs> Don't do it. No, I'm, that one I know is going to be worth a lot cuz it's Zelda. But I actually want to buy another one, like legit want to buy one for myself because it's oh all gold. God. It looks so, so like so amazing. I don't know if you've seen it in person, but I've seen in it in person. though. I've seen it in person and trust me, it's impressive. It looks very, <laughs> seriously, but, <clears throat> um, but anyway, I bought it and since it was already on unlo- I mean, like there's no C on it. I was like, you know, what the fuck? What the hell? Let me, let me check it out. So I opened it and I, uh, and I took the system out, the Mickey one, and it's a Disney one. Yeah, Disney. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, I say Mickey because it's fucking Mickey Mouse in the front of the box. Yeah, but in it's, reality, in, yeah, it's a Disney. It's Disney. Um, and they used. To, I mean, th- this design was already out in Japan like a year, or two years ago, or something like that. Oh really? Yeah, it was a Japanese exclusive and some crap, but somehow they brought it over. Um. <clears throat> But I just took it out really quick. I, that I makes no sense. Why would they get it first? Do they have a Disneyland I in Japan? I, they have a Disney World in Japan. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense then. <laughs> yeah, there's Disney World in Japan. There's Disney World in Paris, uh, Florida, and I forgot where else. But um, 
took it out. I didn't even turn it on or anything. I just took it out, looked at it, and it looks really cool. Like like a white. It's all white, you know. Yeah. Looks really cool. Like the Animal Crossing one. Yeah. <laughs> even the the front the front face is all you know all white. So I put it I put it away. And then I got an email two days ago saying, oh, your order has shipped. I'm like, what the fuck? So it turns out they never canceled it. I'm supposed oh. to get my second Mickey oh, uh, Disney edition 3DS XL on Friday. <clears throat> so I'm going to. And they charged you for both? Yeah. So I have. Uh, so they owe me. So right, <clears throat> right now I'm out 200 bucks to it, like 220 bucks. <clears throat> Until you return it. So I'm going to go return it now. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I have something stuck in my throat. <laughs> but, um, so the thing is that, all right, so I spent the money, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I could get it back. I could get to 200 bucks back. But it's already out of my account. So in my genius way of thinking, it's already gone. The money's gone, right? So you want to keep it now? No, 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 no. I already have it. But what I do want to do is that I'm, I'm very upset that I missed out on the, uh, I think I told you this before. There is the, um, what is it called? Uh, the Luigi's Mansion bundle, uh, 3DS. Yeah. At first. It, it has no design on it. It's just blue. I know. But my stupid ass thought the whole time that it was the purple one when I already had a purple one. So I was like, when that bundle came out, I was like, oh, you know, who cares? Like, I already have a purple 3DS. Like, I'm not, I totally ignored it. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know. It turns out it was the blue one. That I've yeah. been wanting forever. One time I, uh, one time I went to one uh, a few years ago. I went to Evo, and somebody had the blue one from Japan, and I was so jealous because it looked so fucking cool. And you know, I looked for it, looked for it. it turns out it was a Japanese exclusive color at the time. You said, "Damn, you should, you should have told me you wanted it." Best Buy had it on sale for a while. Um, not too long ago, they're trying to liquidate them. I know. I was even at the store when they had it on sale. <laughs> oh shit! But I didn't get it because. At the, I still thought it was the purple one the whole time. So when I actually found out that it was a blue one, I was so mad because now they're hard to find. I mean, I'm, I could still find one on eBay, brand new. But so here's my here's the, what I'm trying. This is where I'm trying to get at. Since I already spent the 200 bucks, the, the other 3ds is actually cheaper. Yeah, it's like 180. So I was thinking of just using that money and buying it. But <laughs> something every time I want to buy a new 3ds, my brain just tells me you're a fucking idiot. But, uh, you know, because it's, I mean, it's a lot of money just to, just to buy something that's just going to sit there. Actually, that one, I would, that one I will open just to look at it. Yeah. It's just a plain blue one. There's no design. on Yeah, it. I know. Like, but that one I will open for sure. But, um, that's your dog barking. Yeah. There's some, something's going on outside. All the, all the dogs in the neighborhood are going crazy. But, um, Go I don't know. So, what do you think? That you, I mean, that I know that's a stupid idea. But you would uh, save some money. Yeah, I know. But you you have like an extra twenty bucks for something. To it's like to be honest though. Gas. To be honest, that that three DS, I would not mind at all buying it used as long as it's like a clean. I just want the yes. Yeah, because I, I, because it, uh, the the Luigi game, you already have it. Yeah, I could give a fuck about the bundle. I just want that DS. So but maybe I should just buy it used. Unless it's with the I don't know. If you if you're the type type of collector that has to have the box. I do. Okay then. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can find it with the box. Yeah, but. But people nowadays don't give a damn about boxes i know they just throw everything away i was so mad I bought- or when they fucking open it they open it with no care <laughs> yeah they're oh my everything. god that <laughs> that's how okay do you remember last year or two years ago i bought my little nephew i have a little nephew and i bought him the 3ds xl right? mm-hmm. when he opened it oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For, i wanted to cry poor box that box just got literally torn in half I was like, are you kidding me? For you people that don't know, I'm also a collector also. So I'm very cringe. I cringe a lot when people open stuff. Not only do you it's... cringe, it hurts your feelings. Yes. I'm like, oh my God. Because when I open things, I take the time. I use an X-Acto knife to <laughs> cut the tape nice and perfect so I won't get no tape residue or anything of that sort. But Exactly. <laughs> when people open shit, they just rip that shit open. I'm like, oh. God. Yeah, and to see people stop. just stop. Uh, that's what stop. I was thinking. Stop, please stop. 
you're just crying. No. <laughs> and and here's the worst part, right? So it was this was Christmas time, I, you know, I was just hanging out with the family and stuff. So I didn't really think about it. But he's a little kid. He's not gonna give a shit about the Nintendo codes. Oh yeah, the the yeah. Yeah. So um, like a week later, I remembered and I was like, oh shit, let me call my sister, which is his mom, and I was like, let me uh. Let me ask her for the, you know, to look for the box so I can get that code so I can get some points. And I know where this is. Going. Yes, I called her. Oh, I don't know where the box is. We threw it away. Oh, <laughs> it threw it away with all of the, with all of the inserts, with all of the instruction manual, everything. Just threw it all out. It's painful because th- that gives you 160 po- uh, co- uh, points. I know. So mad. <laughs> I had totally forgot about it till right now. That's bad. Well, speaking of Nintendo points, so uh, Nintendo Club had the Luigi uh, Mansion statues. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Le- and uh, I only needed like I needed a few points, like maybe like a hundred or it was under two hundred for sure. Okay. So I could get it. Mm-hmm. I could not get points for the life of me, and then by the time I got points, it was sold out so salty well here's here's a funny story not a funny story but um just recently there's this girl uh, a friend a friend of mine that had told her about nintendo club and the points and stuff right and then one day i was like oh you don't even use them i was like you should give them to me there's <laughs> a bunch of games and, and system and stuff and she's like yeah i'll give them to you and i was like oh that's awesome but then you know i, I felt bad i was like i'm not gonna just take them so she mentioned it a few. I, I think I mentioned it. And she 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 mentioned it a few times. Like, oh, don't you want them or something? You know. Mm-hmm. And then uh, so this weekend I was at her house and and she said, like, oh, do you want the codes or whatever? And I was like, well, I was like, yeah, but I'm like, I don't want to just take them. I want to make sure you know what what you can do with them before I take them. Because then you don't want her to find out later. Like, yeah, Damn. and I don't want to feel like an asshole, right? Yeah. So I was yeah. like, she's like, what is it? And I was like, well. Look, you get on I'm like each time you buy something you get a point you get points and you could buy stuff on the Nintendo website with the points and she's like what like games I was like yeah you could buy games some of the but the games are kind of old or whatever but I'm like you get other stuff like what it's on like towels or just random Nintendo stuff yeah and she's like no it's okay I don't care I'm not gonna use it I was like are you sure I was like I don't want to take it <laughs> I was just, just I just want you to know right now that if I take them we both have an understanding that I Explain to you what they were for. She's like, no, it's okay. Should have filled out a contract or something. Yeah, and she said okay. So, so she gave me, <clears throat> and she just bought the, the the Disney 3DS as well. Oh, I'm so jelly. I want that. So I got the, uh, I got the code for the Disney 3DS. Ooh, dang! That's a lot of points right there. I got one, two, three, four, five games. However, I don't think it will let you, so... And a Wii. And a Wii, damn. I, I don't think it will let you, if you already have that console... No, I will. Trust me. Oh, will? Yeah. They can't tell you how many consoles you're allowed to own. Well, yeah. That's true. Never mind. They're different codes anyways. Yeah. Yeah, the codes, the, all the codes are unique, so... Um, that's a lot of points. Yeah, but here's the thing, and I'm trying to log in right now, and for some reason, it's not letting me because... I can tell you're typing for one, I can hear you typing for two, you can tell by the way you're talking, you're getting sidetracked. Well, this is annoying me because my password isn't working, and uh, I just got an email from a Nintendo not too long ago saying that my my points, I have an elite status, right, or something? Yeah. But it says that my points will expire in June, and that I have to spend them before they expire, but I won't lose my elite membership or whatever the crap. Now... I heard that either it's every June or every July, the points reset, and it should be July because they, I think it said June thirtieth. Yeah, my points reset once. No, they didn't reset. My status reset it. Okay, so, um, in July they start over, and I remember watching a video not um well, a while back I watched a video on somebody that collects games and stuff, and he was mentioning how he likes to always wait. Or he likes to build up his points and or you know whatever he gets he doesn't use he doesn't redeem them until every July, because it lasts for two years. Ah. Uh-huh. So um because they expire and and you want to get like like right now let's say I got all these games and stuff, it's uh we're almost in May. If I Damn put in- if I put the points in now 
I only have a few months to get it, which is kind of stupid if you think about it, because rather than, you know, let them waste for three months, I could actually have them for two years. And in the two year lifespan, they could come up with a lot of cool products. Yeah. And I, I'm not too sure, but when you use your points, they don't deduct, right? Uh, Yes, they do. Oh, they do? I believe so. I don't know. I never use my points. Because I used them for, well, no, actually, I used them to get a free calendar, but it was free. Yeah, like um, but I, for the elite. Thing, I want to say, wow, that's loud. Oh, my bad. I want to say that they do, um, that they don't. I think I read somewhere that they don't. They don't subtract. I'm not sure, but I'm not really sure. I don't know my password either. I know my password, but it's not working. Yeah, mine is not working either. I'm trying the main passwords I use, and they don't work. Yeah, mine either. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to reset it uh, again. But um, but yeah, so so I have a lot of points now, or I'm gonna get a lot of points, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till till July, and I'm gonna redeem all of them so I can have a bunch more points, you know? Yeah. And then let me see. see. And then here's the thing that I really want. I want to. I, I really. I think Club Nintendo is the only place you can get the uh, the charging cradle for the XLs. Oh yeah, they don't have them available right now. I know they haven't been available forever. But they, have, they don't even show them. They have a bunch of they have a bunch of colors too. They're really cool. So uh, I've been waiting on that. Yeah, when uh, I got my premium or whatever the highest elite whatever shit was when yeah. they uh, gave me the the special choose from uh, your product or your item, I chose the posters and they yeah. took them for it took forever for them to send it. I just I just reset and it didn't work. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Anyway. Just forget about it. Yeah, 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 let's just forget about it. I'll do this later. Um So um so yeah, I saw that statue. So I'm just gonna wait and then redeem those points later on so I can have better chances of having something cool. And also uh I'm sure after July I'm planning on buying a Wii U, so that should be more points. Mm, and yep. of course and I just bought I took advantage of that target buy two for one two get one yeah and uh and uh, pretty sure I have all those codes too those are codes that i haven't used yeah and i'm pretty sure two of those three games are not open um actually i bought four games three out of the four games are not open oh well, it's even worse <laughs> and four out of the four codes are not used so technically i have like almost you know 10 15 games and two systems to redeem that's a lot of points that's a lot of points and uh and you know what I'm going to give you... No, you know what? No, I'm not going to tell the secret to anybody. There's a secret that I know. Of course. <laughs> you you, you uh, make notice of it, and then you just like, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. So no. Maybe if you guys comment... <laughs> <laughs> on the next episode, I'll talk about my secret for Game Nintendo tactics. for Nintendo Club Points. But, um... So that's that. So, yeah. I don't know if there's a... Uh, Anything else on your mind, Mr. Gary? So, recently we both uh, came across the same game on Steam. Mm, yes, 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 yes. We both did. It's funny how that, how life works. What a coincidence. <laughs> so, would you care to tell the story or should I tell the story? Uh, so, it was one day, Mr. Bramberg was saying, oh, he just bought this game and he's going to stream it. And you also go follow him at uh, twitch.tv uh, slash Brambert01 or 01 to uh, catch up on his uh, stream. Ah, uh, yes. Um, so the game is Wolf Among Us. I'm not sure if you guys heard of it. It's uh, the same people that made The Walking Dead, the Telltale game. It's pretty much a, a story driven game. You, Based on your decisions, it's how the game will play out. Anyways, so yeah, he was like, oh. I uh, bought a new game and I'm gonna stream it. It looked pretty good. I was like, oh, okay. He wouldn't tell me, so I had to wait for his stream. So his stream started. And, yeah, um, you got you got to build suspense, man. You know what I mean? I mean, you want to tell a story? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to add. It. Think of me as adding pepperonis to your pizza, man. You don't have to, you know. What I'm saying? You're still you're still the, you're still the chef. You're still gonna make the pizza, bro. I was just putting the pepperonis in there. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Continue. Sorry, I'll shut up. <laughs> so he uh started streaming i was like wait 
you know, I had I was interested in that game too. I was gonna buy it also, and uh, I was watching him play for a little bit. I didn't really want want to watch him play because uh, I didn't want to ruin the story for myself. But uh, so the game was on sale on Steam. And it's a good game. I've uh, actually beaten the three chat the three uh, episodes so far, and uh, waiting for the new ones. It's based on the five episode uh, series, the same as The Walking Dead. But how'd you like the game, Mr. Brambert? Okay, well, thank you for that. Um, now, I really enjoyed it. I I. Granted, I only have played maybe about an hour's worth, maybe, I would say. Yeah, you, you was pretty close finishing that first episode. Okay. So, yeah, I played about an hour, maybe a little bit more. Um, I'm not too familiar with point-and-click games. I know I, I have played them in the past, um, but I can't remember exactly which games I've played in the past that have been this style, but I have played them. But... but but uh, I'm not too familiar with them, you know? Like, like to say, like, oh, yeah, I, I fucking love point-and-click games. So, um, but I really like the, the way the story... I, I've always liked, you know, kind of like Skyrim and, and, and Fallout and all that stuff where you get in a dialogue and it's like they give you the option to do what you want or to say what you want. And depending on what you say, you know, things happen. I've always been a fan of that. Because it makes you feel like you could control the game a lot better, or you know, mm-hmm. it just makes you yeah. feel like you're you're actually playing it. Because what you're doing is kind of it's actually affecting the game. Um, but having said that, this game was new to me. Uh, so, for people that are listening and uh, want to talk about this, don't post it in the comment section. There's chances you might spoil it. Or Mr. Bramber. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Well, it's okay. But uh, this game, now, before I downloaded it, I, uh, you know, I kind of read the description of it and stuff. And, 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 and it said that, um, I guess this is based on a comic or something that I had never heard of. To be yeah, honest. me neither. I never heard of it either. So when I look, I mean, it, it had a funny name to it, you know, but. I looked at some videos of it and I was like, "Oh, this looks kind of cool." It did grab my, you know, grab my attention. And playing it, I really, really liked the art style. It it reminded me of uh, the the, the shell sa- uh, shaded. Yeah, shell shaded. It reminded me of when like when uh, Borderlands came out, the first Borderlands. And oh yeah. When I saw that, I was like, "Oh my god, this looks so cool! It looks like a you know comic book or some crazy stuff." Have you ever played the game Thirteen back on like P- uh, PS2? No, but I remember that game. I never yeah. played it, but I remember it. Is that type of art style too? Yeah. Mhm. And I thought it was cool. I think they they also did that with the uh with Chinatown Wars for the DS. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did. That was a good game. Wow, oh, man. And then uh they did the same art style with Walking Dead. Yeah, see I never I never even heard of that game. I mean, until you mentioned it, I've never seen I haven't even seen any gameplay of it. Really? It was but, game of the year for a lot of places last year. It was a real good game. Maybe I have, but I just, you know, you know anything Yeah, you, know, you don't like zombies, but It's not that I just this game doesn't really... It's not like your average zombie game. It's more storytelling. Yeah. I mean, it's not that I have a thing against the zombies. The, the the only problem, the reason I just stay away from it is because... They get repetitive. Well, that's just certain games. You know? any Mostly any game with zombies is just kill zombie, kill zombie, kill. That's all you do. But that's not the main point. I think what did it for me the most... What was it like two years ago or something when every fucking game had a dlc of zombies it was just like oh yeah oh, that's true are you kidding me i remember i was really into um borderlands no no no, no not borderlands uh well yeah borderlands did it too oh red dead redemption, red dead redemption. i know he's gonna go there i love that game and then fucking dlc oh cool oh zombies and then you know, you play Call of Duty. Oh, zombies. Zombies. Every fucking thing had zombies. And then, oh, here's Left 4 Dead. More zombies. More zo- It's like, oh, come on. Everything had to get fucking zombies. That is true. So I got tired of it. Like, I just got tired yeah. of zombies just in general. Just because That's of true. that. That's true. Nowadays, there's a lot of games that are zombie related. Yeah. And, and it just made me 
like just not like them so i guess anything that had to do with zombies i just ignored it for that yeah. reason so i mean during the wolf among us uh you know the part i'm pretty sure you passed this part already when uh you're going through the book t- to find out who that girl is uh yeah to see all the the, the characters Mm-hmm. It's cool how they incorporated that, but I guess it's part of the comics. I never read the comics either. Yeah, but, but those um, were all Disney characters, right? At Disney, because um, the Hellish Horseman is not a Disney character. No, but they oh. talked about the the pigs. So yeah, the pigs are not Disney. Wait, though. the pigs aren't Disney either. Yeah. Neither is but, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. So, but, but there's the seven. There's Snow White and the Seven yeah, Dwarfs. Snow White. And then there's a uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. And there's something um, else. What, uh, uh, I think there's one more. I just can't yeah, remember who it was. I think it's a girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, I thought that was cool. I thought it, I thought it was cool how each character is like a character from a from one of those books or stories. A novel. Yeah. Or a, a kid's novel, I guess you could say. So that was pretty cool. I mean, you've already beat all the chapters that uh, that are available, so I don't know if it makes more sense later down the line. But that all makes a lot of sense. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess the topic was really, wasn't really that good because you're not all caught up, so you're still out of the loop. Yeah, I'm not really in the loop. I mean, you saw what I played. Um, yeah. I I kind of took the uh, more of a bully approach as far as the uh, as my character goes <laughs> uh, towards the end. So well. So we'll, it depends on who the character was. Then I'll take the, the bully approach. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because uh, for the people that were watching my stream, <laughs> I mean, I like to have fun in my streams. So uh, when I was talking to the girl, I was taking the, you know, let me get you to the house yes, approach. <laughs> me too. <laughs> it was working. It was working until some unfortunate event. Spo- spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, spoilers. Yeah. But... Uh, it seems it seems to be shaping up to be a, a good game. So I mean, you're already done with it. Um, I still gotta go through it. How long do you think? What do you say it takes to get through the first three chapters? It depends. Um, I would say maybe like per chapter, it's about hour and a half, two hours. Mm, so that's pretty good. Yeah. It, yeah, like I said, it depends. Are you um? Are you gonna get? Did you? I think you got to. I think I asked you this question. Did you, did you ever get to play The Last of Us for the PS3? Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Because I'm I'm kind of looking forward to that since I never played it. I want to get on the PS4. You will like it. It's really good. It's not your average like zombie game. Yeah, that's the only reason. Like I I did see gameplay of it back back when it came out for PS3, and it looked. I mean, it looked really really good. The the story in that game is pretty damn awesome. So. I think I'm gonna pick that up. But is there any is there anything that that you're looking forward to getting soon? Soon, uh, besides Ultra Street Fighter Four. Um, um, is that considered soon? Two months. That's I guess soon. yeah, that's soon. That's soon enough. It's pretty soon. Um, that's upcoming. There's not a wave of good games yet besides Watch Dogs. Um, Watch Dogs probably a uh, Drive Club. You're gonna pick up Drive Club. Yeah. Oh, Drive Club. Okay, okay, never mind. I confused it with the uh, with the crew. Oh no, the crew is disappointing after seeing more about it. Yeah, that game looks like it's garbage. So Drive Club. Um, that's all I can think of. There's not very much going on. Yeah. As far as gaming, From the Last of Us. The Last of Us. I'm not gonna. I. I don't know if I want to pick it up again. Yeah, I mean, if you already, it's just a graphic update at this point. It does come with all the extra DLC too, but I don't know if it's still worth it. Maybe for maybe thirty bucks, maybe. Yeah. See, um, I uh, I didn't get to play it, so I would say yeah, Last yeah, of yeah. Us, uh, Watch Dogs, and Ultra Street Fighter Four. Um, I did get, I did recently get the new 3DS games. I got, you know, Yoshi's Island. I keep forgetting the name of the fucking game. I don't even know what the name is, but the Yoshi one. Yeah. I got Mario, I Mario Luigi Dream Team, and I got Bravely Default, which I really, really, really want to get into, but I haven't gotten into it yet, because I still, I really do not want to get into a new game, at least on my 3DS, uh, without, I still, I'm still playing uh, the, the Zelda Link Between Worlds, 
and I do not, no matter what, I do not want to start a new game without finishing this one because I'm 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 pretty far into it and I want to beat it. You'll get sidetracked and just stop playing it, and then you go back and you're like, uh. I already did that, but see, I played it the other day after like three, four months or whatever how long it had been, and I was kind of like lost, but it started making sense to me again because you know you'll remember stuff. Yeah. Sometimes you don't remember until you see things and you're like, oh, I remember what was going on here. So I kind of remember, but I only played it for like two days and and, and again, I, I abandoned it again. So. <laughs> so there's another game I want that's out already that I want to get. It's um, it's a ninja guiding game. I forgot. It's like something Z. It looks very cartoony, though, but I like Ninja Gaiden. Oh, is it the, the I think it is. I saw it's like Ninja I saw like Ninja somebody Gaiden Yabra Z or something like that. I think I saw somebody speed run that back when they were doing the speed runs. Does it look yeah. does, it, does it look similar to the new Strider game? Uh somewhat. I'm guessing that's what you're talking about, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's, it's not an RK game, but I guess it kind of does look like it. Mm. Yeah, I think that I don't know. I, I I totally forgot the name of that. But it was a it was a ninja game when you kind of like a side scroller and you run around and do stuff. Oh no, it's not a side scroller. Oh, okay, then it's not it then. Yes, yeah, Yaibra Ninja Gaiden Z. Mm. So it's called. Never heard of it. That got released like two weeks ago. Oh, so it's a new game. Yeah, I wanted to I'll wait until it go down to like twenty bucks though. I have a feeling it's going to do that. Yeah. It didn't get good reviews. <laughs> oh yeah. Mediocre. Nowadays, is, that's death for games, usually. Pretty much. Especially for, like, if you get, like, an arcade-style game or, like, a little indie game and they have better reviews. That's it. Done. <laughs> They're done, man. That's done. That's that's pretty sad. Cause they put, it is. They put so much time into those things, you know? Even if... Especially because it's the one they're indie, like, they don't have all that... All those resources like other people do. Yeah. Probably a lot of the money comes out of their pockets, too. For yeah, development, that must hurt if it flops. Ah, so sad. Bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, um, anyway, I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it there, Mister Legend Gary. Yeah, we'll close it out. We had a good one. Yeah, pretty good. We need to. We'll be back on track next week. Next week. Well, yeah. actually, this week Sunday. So, oh, hold on. Um. Mr. Bramberg. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure if you really want to get into The Walking Dead. <clears throat> okay. Uh, GameStop has it on sale for digital download for six bucks. That's not bad. All five seasons. Uh, I mean, not five seasons, five episodes. I'm gonna definitely look it up and then see if it's something that will interest me. If it does, I'll I'm, I'll pick it up. I mean, six bucks. That's not even. That's less than your average double cheeseburger combo. <laughs> and uh, you know I get those like nothing sometimes without even thinking it's like I'm not even hungry let's just go get a double cheeseburger combo also, yeah. so that if, could be such yeah. substitution if it looks good oh, I'll give it a shot yeah that's a good price but so you know until next time <laughs> yes till next time alright thank you to all our faithful listeners Oh, by the way, <laughs> in our last our last uh, podcast, we mentioned if you stayed at the end, put this keyword in. Yeah. What was the keyword? I made it to the end or something I like that. I made it or something, but nobody nobody typed it in. Yeah. So apparently. So we're not gonna put any keywords today. Uh, you know what? I'll take it back. We're gonna put a keyword. The keyword's gonna be "fuck you." <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you guys made it to the end, just type "fuck you" in the comments. And we'll understand what that means. Yeah, we know what it means. But thank you guys if you did stay to the end. We appreciate that. Yes, um, yes, indeed. Again, thanks again, everybody who, who listened. And we will see you again for episode four when we'll talk about more stuff that has no meaning. We're just going to be rambling <laughs> and cut to the BS. <laughs> We're going to cut the BS and just get on with the oh, show. Oh, my jeez. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Time. Well, you know what? Before we leave, I got... Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. I will see you later, mister. All right, Brambert. Thanks for the invite. No problem. You know it. Good Peace night. out. Good night.